welcome back to my channel today we are giving this amazing interesting geometry question to solve now this is not drawn to scale please and um this is a square yes this is a square from c to p is five the length x we are asked to find it and angle a b p is 75 degrees okay so we are asked to find the value of x we will read the mind of the examiner as i used to say first of all this is a square so it means that this is 90 degrees right and it means that angle b is also 90 degrees so to get angle p b d angle p b d will be equal to 90 minus 75 degrees right which is equal to 15 degrees so it means that this place is 15 degrees all right now let us look at this very well sine 15 degrees remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse right now the opposite is pd pd and the hypotenuse is x so pd over x all right all right now remember we are trying to bring x into the equation because that is what we are asked to find so it means that pd if we cross multiply it means that pd is equal to x sine 15 x sine 15 so let's write here x sine 15 all right now let us try to find db let's find db and db is the adjacent of this triangle so we can use cos to find it right so cos 15 is equal to adjacent the adjacent is db over hypotenuse the hypotenuse is what x sine 15 that is pd sorry the hypotenuse is x over x all right so if we cross multiply db is equal to x cos 15 x cos 15 degrees now remember that this is a square so if we call db y all right it means that y is equal to x cos 15 and remember that cd is also equal to y right so we can say cd cd is 5 plus x sine 15 so it means that y is also equal to 5 plus x sine 15. now if we call this equation one and this equation two you can see that both of them are equal to the same thing so we can say that x cos 15 is equal to 5 plus x sine 15. remember you are not asked to use the calculator calculator is not allowed so we're actually going to use trigonometric ratios to find every single thing here we're not using the calculator okay all right so it means that equation one is equal to equation two therefore we can write that x cos 15 is equal to 5 plus x sine 15. please click the subscription button turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us okay give us a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video if you are not please tell us in the comment section what you think we should do to improve okay and please choose your words carefully don't insult but criticize positively okay all right so we met this particular um equation that x cos 15 is equal to 5 plus x sine 15 all right now let me bring it to this side x cos 15 
x cos 15 is equal to 5 plus x sine 15. 5 plus x sine 15. Now let's bring this to this side, okay? If we do that, we have x cos 15 minus x sine 15 is equal to 5. Now let's factorize. If we do that, we bring out x. x cos 15 divided by x is cos 15. x sine 15 divided by x is sine 15. Is equal to 5. So it simply means that if we divide both sides by, divide both sides by cos 15 minus sine 15, we will have x cos 15 minus sine 15, okay, divided by cos 15 minus sine 15 is equal to 5 divided by cos 15 minus sine 15. So this and this will cancel each other. And we have that x is equal to 5 divided by cos 15 minus sine 15. Now, we are going to find the value of cos 15 minus sine 15 without the use of calculator, remember, okay? So that is where the main thing is. That is the most interesting aspect of this video. Yeah. So we are going to remember our trigonometric identities, right? Now, the first one is that sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. All right? So it means that sine 15 is equal to cos 90 minus 15. Sine 15 is equal to cos 75. Okay? All right. So, it simply means that the denominator cos 15 minus sine 15 is equal to cos 15 minus cos 75, okay? Yeah, so this x equals wherever. I'm going to write it here because that is the main thing we are solving now, right? Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, don't forget to give us that thumbs up, uh, like, comment, and share. Don't just watch and pass, okay? Tell us how you feel about what we are doing. Give us a thumbs up to show that you actually enjoyed the video. So I'm going to write this here x is equal to 5 divided by cos 15 minus sine 15. All right. Now, we continue. So we bring another identity. Yes, this identity states that cos A minus cos B is equal to 2 sine a plus B divided by 2 multiplied by sine A minus A sine B minus A divided by 2. Okay? So it simply means that cos 15 minus cos 75 is equal to 2 sine a plus b that is 15 plus 75 divided by 2 multiplied by sine 75 minus 15 divided by 2. So this is equal to 2 sine 90 divided by 2 multiplied by sine 60 divided by 2, right? Yeah, so this is equal to 2 sine 4 to 5 multiplied by sine 30. So this is equal to 2. Now sine 45 is 1 over root 2. 1 over root 2 multiplied by 
sine 30 is half, right? Multiplied by half. Interesting, right? Yeah. So, so we simplify for that. So it simply means that cos 15 minus sine 15 will give us 2 times 1 is 2 over root 2 multiplied by half, right? So this is equal to, now 2 will divide itself to give us 1, so we have 1 over root 2. So it simply means that x now is equal to 5 divided by cos 15 minus sine 15 is 1 over root 2. So x is equal to 5 divided by 1 multiplied by, if I change the division to multiplication, I'll take the inverse of the denominator. So it's going to be, the reciprocal should be root 2 over 1. So it simply means that x is equal to 5 root 2 units. As easy as that. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.